Hi and welcome to UiPath Cloud Robots. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, setting up a tenant and the whole infrastructure for uh, Cloud Robots VM. This is very easy and I'm going to show you how. First of all, we're going to go to admin, click the plus sign to create a new tenant. We're going to set a name. We're going to select a region and then click next. For cloud robots, we're interested in orchestrator, but if you have other requirements, you can select them here. Next, we're going to assign a robot unit. If you do not have robot unit, you will have to uh, acquire an RU bundle and then assign them to your tenant. You can do this afterwards, but if you already have them, you can configure them in this page. We're going to click create. After this is done, uh, you have the option of selecting the tenant and choosing licenses, edit allocation, and then you can also modify the robot units over here. Uh, for cloud robots, VM and serverless, you only need robot units. The rest do not affect you if you do not use unattended or uh, testing or non-production licenses. We will now go to orchestrator. just make sure you're in the correct tenant over here go to tenant machines add a machine cloud robot VM we're gonna set, set a name here um, let's use demo pool and then for machine management details we're gonna select manual because we're going to create each uh, VM uh, on its own and we're not gonna let the UI path uh, cloud platform uh, take care of the VM for us. So select manual, click next, choose a uh, production and then according to your needs you may select a different VM size. I'm going to go with the standard one and I'm going to select uh, the UiPath uh, supported browsers on Windows Server 2019 over here. And the availability profile is gonna be fast. Uh, if you need guidance on all of these options, you can access our documentation and check it from there. Next, and then click finish. Now, in order to see what's going on with uh, all the VMs that we're going to create in the demo pool, we're going to go to manage access on the user that you're logged in with or the user you're going to uh, check the logs or alerts uh, you're going to click more actions and then click edit you have uh, two options here either you use an administrator account which i'm going to do in this case or if you just need to see uh, the alerts you're going to have to set the view alerts as well as view machines over here set a name and then click create this will allow you to see all alerts for uh, cloud robots I'm just gonna click update with the administrator role I'm just gonna go back to machines demo pool and then click add or manage VMs I'm going to add a new virtual machine I'm going to add two machines here the first one is gonna be VM1 now if if you click add more VMs, you can add another machine. We're going to set a username, just going to use demo and a really safe password. Okay, and we're going to get a summary um, for the amount of robot units that is going to be consumed um, by the two machines over here. And then we're going to click provision. Yes, I would like to create two VMs. The machines are now in a provisioning state and we can check their actual status over here by clicking the bell icon and click all alerts and then in the filters we're gonna set the state to all now we're gonna be able to see all the alerts that are coming from the cloud robots in about three to five minutes we're gonna have the machines provisioned and we're gonna be able to continue
now the machines are running as we can see here and if we go to machines add or manage vms we can now see them that the machines are running 